everybody and welcome back to another video my name is Wizzy as you guys all know today you guys bring you guys another video now before I start I am going to be talking very very slowly and also very very quietly that is because people are sleeping and I don't want to wake people up but anyway boys let's get into the topic of today so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the patch notes and what has happened with the recent update you guys would have got on your PS4 and Xbox One consoles so anyway the update includes weapon tuning prevention of streaks being shot at while they are entering the battlefield and also more fixes and issues where players were farming for crypto keys by remaining um, like just away from the keyboard or AFK in gun game and getting crypto keys for it so anyway boys Von Haar updated us with the weapons and what he's been tuning with them so if we get into the first category is the submachine guns so the CUDA it got an buff and it got increased ability to control recoil so that's really good for everyone that uses the CUDA you'll be able to control recoil a little bit more because it was in a sort of circular pattern like the PDW and it was a little bit annoying but I didn't think it was too bad, but they've buffed it, so anyway. Next up, guys, the VMP, everybody's favorite. Now, the VMP has caught a nerf and has also caught a... No, it hasn't caught a buff. It's actually caught two nerfs, so the VMP has caught... Time increased when aiming down sights has been slightly increased and hit fire spread increased, so that means that your hit fire isn't as accurate. Okay, next up, guys, we have the Weevil. The Weevil has increased ability to control recoil now this is a very interesting one like why does the weevil need control recoil because the weevil is basically like a laser now but i don't know why the weevil needs control recoil but anyway that's what has been buffed and the last weapon no the second last weapon we have is the vespa reduced lethal range and this really needed to happen because the vespa was super op and that's just got reduced lethal range, so hopefully it's not a hit marker machine or a pea shooter. At long range, it still will melt people at short range, but hopefully at long range, it won't be a pea shooter. And last of all, we have the Razorback. And this caught two big buffs. Increased ability to control recoil, so you won't have to just control it. And it'll be dead straight. It won't be dead straight, but it'll be more straighter than it was. And increased lethal range, so the Razorback will be getting a little bit stronger and some people might be using it still alrighty guys the next category I have is the assault rifle so let's jump into them so the first assault rifle we have here is the KN44 and the KN44 had a nerf increased ability to control recoil no that's a buff sorry had a buff increased ability to control recoil so that's really good even though I reckon the KN it did need that sort of like it did have a bit of an uppish recoil but that's what you need on a weapon but yeah the KN44 44 got that uh next up is the xr2 it got another nerf like the xr2 has been bullied heats by vondaha movement speed reduced even though you don't really move with that gun anyway the movement speed has been reduced next up we have the hvk30 increased ability to control recoil so that's just with the recoil again so that's a buff next up we have the icr1 this one got three different things so it got increased ability to control recoil that is a buff i don't know why they did that because the icr is basically like a laser anyway they got hit fire spread reduced so that's another buff for the icr and they fixed an issue with the reload animation when a certain magazine was equipped which i believe was extended mags I can't really remember, but yeah, that's really awesome. So the ICR is going to be one of the main weapons, and I've done a class setup on that weapon, guys. If you guys haven't been able to check that class setup out, I might link it down in the description. So just go to the description and click on that. Make sure you go and watch that. It's a pretty recent video. Next up, guys, we have the Man of War increased ability to control recoil. Yes, that did need it. Needed that buff because it was very, very spread out. And next up, guys, the M8A7 got a nerf fire rate reduced that's yeah they've tweaked with that a bit with the fire rate of the m8 when it first came out it was very very fast now it was slow and then they kind of tweaked it and it's a little bit quick so they've brought it back a little bit more now but you're still going to get one burst and all that Alrighty, guys next up we have the shotguns so the krm 262 is first remove three hit kill now guaranteed at two hits so you just have to shoot people with two two hits and then they're dead next up we have the 
205 brekkie increased lethal range so that is also a buff and that's really good because the brekkie doesn't really have that good range but i was playing with it earlier before uh before doing this commentary and i'm going for diamond so i can get that dark matter camo but like it didn't really look like it changed a lot so i don't know if that's just my game hasn't updated yet but i believe it has so hopefully that's not the case next up guys we have the haymaker 12 increased lethal range so that's another buff and i don't really know if the haymaker needed this or not i gotta try it out so anyway that is the haymaker 12 Alrighty, guys next up we have the light machine guns first off off the bat we have the dingo movement speed increased and increased ability to control recoil so that caught two buffs which is really really good for the dingo and I think that gun melts. Next up, guys, we have the 48 dredge fire rate reduced. That thing is an absolute face melter. So that's why that got reduced. Alrighty, guys, now we move on to the pistols. Sort of the less serious part. Even though these pistols did melt in Black Ops 2. Like, they actually did melt people so badly. It's like they were better than the assault rifles almost. Like the B23R and the Cap 40. You could just run around with them and kill people. It's basically like MW3 all over again. Anyway, guys, the pistols, MR6, movement speed has been increased which is a buff and i don't know about that because i've never used the pistols before in this game next up guys we have the rk5 moving speed increased and it reduced lethal range so it's called a buff and a nerf so hopefully that doesn't affect that weapon too much here we go boys this is the absolute big one now von der has gone massive on this gun i don't know what it is this gun must have like gone to his house and banged his missus or something but like he just destroyed this gun all right here we go this is the old car 9 all right it's got four nerfs movement speed yeah movement speed increased reduced damage reduced lethal range hit fire spread increase so that's four nerfs right there because the movement speed increased i don't know if that's a nerf or not but yeah that's four nerfs which i can see i hope that top one's not a buff and i didn't get the wrong for you guys but that's four nerfs so vondahar's really really laid into this gun and i feel sorry for it <laughs> It should have been around the Black Ops 2 days, boys, where pistols didn't get nerfed. All right, everybody, that's it for the gun. So let me know what you think down in the comments below of all the gun patches. Next, Alrighty, anyway, guys, that is the completion of all the guns that were patched and buffed. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. All your support on my videos would help me out. Now, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, guys, this has been your boy with you. I'll catch you guys in my next gameplay. The Ladies other guys. arm. The other weapon for a really awesome camo. And I definitely rock it all the time. But yeah, it, just, it looks a lot more like gold. Actually going for the dark matter camera halfway through my AI.